Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Airport CEO. Today we are back in Yorkshire International and I have finished the Tui Lounge. There you go, it's blue and red. Suitably Tui. And uh, what I need to do as well, uh, which I forgot to do, I've got this nice little blue paint here, which uh, we shall paint our chairs. Now I know that it's a very slight difference in the colour, the, uh, the shade of blue. But uh, it's better than the default, you know, it's, oh hang on, I've painted that plant. Never mind, right, we'll paint those plants as well, keep it themed. Yep, everything's looking good. We'll uh, we'll just pop you as blue as well. There we go, lovely, garish, ugly, awful. Uh, one thing that I had also noticed is uh, I was getting in the flight monitor here uh, a problem. That uh, That's not the problem I was getting on the large stand uh, because there wasn't enough checking desks for these baggage bays. I only had the one which was here, which meant that we could only check in one flight at a time, which meant that both of these were going to struggle. I, however, have opened up all of these checking desks to uh, the large stands. So these are the large stands down here, these five. And uh, we need to get ourselves some queues going. Oh, hang on, that's not what I need. I need a queue. There we go. So we're just going to... Oh, hang on. Just going to build a queue. You know, just uh, nothing too drastic. Just a, a regular queue. Just a perfectly ordinary, nice queue. Because everyone loves a queue, don't they? Uh, we'll have it... Oh, hang on. Not to there. We'll have it to about there and out. Obviously, this is going to have to be a longer queue than uh, what we have had before. Purely and simply because there's more passengers that use these planes. There we go. Get them all queued up. Oh, look, they're loving it. These... Brits are loving a queue. It's what we do best in Britain is queuing. Look, they're uh, they're running. <laughs> We're putting the uh, the things out. They're just running to the exit uh, or the entrance to the queuing system. There we go. Uh, you will also need. Uh, hang on, not reconnect baggage bay. You will need more of your queue. We'll need to uh, extend you. There we go, look at that. We're going to do the exact same again for these two stands. What this is going to mean is that uh, we will be able to have more flights checking in at once. That is going to put additional strain on our, uh, our baggage handling. It's going to put additional strain on our security because what it means is that essentially we're making this more efficient. So the people are going to come through this section quicker, which means that everything else is going to have to be uh, looked at to make sure that it's still maximum efficiency. There we go. We'll uh, pop all that there. I don't know if we've got enough staff to do all this, you know, in terms of passenger service agents. I imagine that we do. I was actually tempted to just hire them all with really poor skills so that everything would be slow and inefficient so that we could really recreate this like Manchester. There we go. Janitor, uh, obviously, if you've been keeping up with what's been happening at Manchester Airport, um, yeah, they've come under some scrutiny. Let's just put it that way. Uh, janitor will hire the good ones. You're also not awful, so we'll hire you. Where are we now? Filter by janitor. We'll have you uh, the maximum skilled that you can be. Which is fairly skilled. You know, you're, you're pretty good, aren't you? Although I should be able to train another one. My eyes are going funny looking at all of these. Maybe they are as trained as... Oh, no, there we go. Adam Kovacs. There we go. Brilliant. So yeah, we have got these here. We've got people... Oh, these bathrooms are quite busy. But we're not we're not panicking yet, because look, we've got a... Oh no, hang on. That's not good. Right, what we will do, however, we'll put some nice carpet. We'll make it look nice. Um, I think this will keep it on brand. Where does the queue come to? Does it come to there? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, to there. It's a shame you can't have, like, you've got a small check-in desk and a medium check-in desk. It's a shame there's no, like, large check-in desk where you've got four working together. I, I don't know how you'd do it, to be honest with you. We need some more wood effect. Possibly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hang on, I've done this wrong. Right. Kel surprise. There we go. Right, we'll pop you down there. Keep it nice and uh, and uniform. Ah, lovely. And, uh, yeah, we need these. Yeah, we don't want the green round the checking desk. That is ugly as sin. There we go. 
I'm not normally very good at the decoration side of things, as you can... Uh, oh, no, what's happened? Oh, damn it. All right, we're going to have to go back in and re-put uh, re that wood down. There we go. I don't like this either. Do you know what? We'll do We'll do the whole thing. The green is starting to get on me weak. I don't know if actually that's better. I've not quite... No, I, I don't know. Garishly ugly. But we've had a makeover. Now, what we are going to do as well while we are here is we are going to put some windows down here. Because windows are nice, we want people to be able to see our planes. Just because, why not? What about a nice seating area around here? While people wait for check-in, I think that would be a great idea. Nice and spacious. Three, 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 three. That'll do. We like people to be able to sit down. I mean, I for one do enjoy sitting down. You know, rather than standing. Or indeed exercising at all. So, I can understand our passengers wanting to sit down. I mean, it's functional. It doesn't look pretty. It's not meant to look pretty. What could we have in the corner here? We could have... Well, we could have a number of things, to be honest with you. Uh, we could have the bathrooms bigger. We could have a restaurant of some kind. We could have a shop. Now, people don't tend to shop on this side of the check-in, do they? But we could pop a shop here. Just like a little cheap, terrible one. We'll have large doors here. Let's just stick a shop there. I don't know if it's going to do well. It might do appallingly bad. But we are going to sign the contract. No, we're not, because we've not done anything to do with shops yet. Right, till. Uh, yeah, okay. Till can be... You've not really left enough space for a till there. Right, till can be in this back corner. Yeah, there we go. Till and till. And then we'll have some nice shelves of some sort. I hope you can tell uh, that I am completely making this up off the cuff. We've got no plan. Uh, I want a wall. Where are the wall? Wall mounted shelves. There we go. Oh, hang on. No, that's across the door. I, I feel that that is... No, we don't need that. Get rid of those shelves. Brilliant. Wall mounted shelves are ace. And then what we also need is a plant... Because I really feel that plants just improve the shopping experience something uh, something drastic. What about some, some more shelves? More shelves, please. Like, basic. Yeah, basic is fine. I mean, that is a, an optimum number. There we go. If we can just all speed up, please, and get this built. How about some flooring? Yeah, nice. Nice little flooring. I reckon uh, a, a clinker tile. I think that is a... Uh, yeah, that that would be better if that was like that. There we go. This is a full convenience store, isn't it? Now, we want this to just be a one-star turner. What are you? Uh, it doesn't actually say. Oh, magazines. Yeah, just a convenience shop. There we go. And then some nice benches. I mean, who doesn't want to sit next to the bathroom? And then we'll have... Uh, what else can we have? A decoration? Not decoration. No, it'll be in terminal. A bin. We don't have enough bins in this terminal. I feel like now we might have an abundance of bins. This is just too many bins. But it's fine. You can never have too many. I mean, we don't have enough janitors to empty the sodding things. But, you know. Oh, what about if we go full on... Uh, I mean, that's quite a cheap look up there. But what if we... Six of them. And then we could go like what we've done in the airline lounges. Ah, now isn't that pretty? 
There you see. Yeah, I can do tasteful when I want to. Bit of plants in the middle. It's a shame you can't build water fountains, really, isn't it? You know, like, um, you can build ponds, you can build statues. Oh, a statue. No, now you've just been silly for the sake of it. I mean, people are really taking to this new seating area quite well. Have we got people shopping? No. Okay, nobody's shopping. Oh, someone's shopping. Brilliant. Oh, lots of people are shopping. I hope they buy things. Oh, this is going to be an absolute hit, isn't it? Just a cheap, crappy magazine stall. I mean, we've made our sales in, what, 10 seconds? I mean, this is good. It doesn't have to be brilliantly fantastic. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we might need more seats. <laughs> Flipping heck. Oh, my lord. Now, what we could do with doing, uh, if we're going to uh, into, into functional things, terminal... We could do with some signs. I can't remember where the flipping things are, but there are signs somewhere. No, nope, it's not here. Catering depot. Nope. Oh, it comes under under. Um, there we go. Flight information display. Oh, hang on. I'm rotating the airport there. We'll just have these backing onto each other so that everyone can check the status of their flight. There we go, we'll have a few more there. And, uh, and a few more here. Do you think everyone's going to be able to, to kind of use those? I think they are. I think this is ace. Um, mm. There we go, we'll have a, a couple more there. Lovely. What about a couple there? These stairs are ugly as sin, aren't they? Yeah, we might need to do something about this. Heck, check-in's open for somebody's flight. There we go. They are good, aren't they? They've got an opportunity to run through into the secure zone, and they just do because they're really well behaved. If we can get this wall built quickly before anybody gets any ideas... Oh, now all our contractors are stuck in the wall, of course. There, they'll, they'll work it out. Yeah, they're slowly despawning. That's fine. I mean, this is a really good area, isn't it? The shop is well. We've done a lot of sales. This is ace. This is really improving things. We've got lots of money in the bank, which might mean that we're able to actually repay some of our loan. There we go, we've repaid that. We do still owe one and a half million, or one and a quarter million, to people, uh, but if we can just pretend that we've not seen that. Now, I do not know what's happening with this. I really don't. I'd love to be able to make a queuing system, and it bothers me that we can't. We've got a staff room here. Uh, we've got the airline lounges, which nobody's using. Two here on the Atlantic stands. Of course they are. Um, what have we got in terms of... Right, okay, so you're okay. What are we doing tomorrow? No two stands there. I think someone did point out you've... Uh, and I'm night flight. Somebody pointed out uh, medium objects. If disabled, this stand will only accept domestic flights. Oh, yeah, hang on. Uh, yeah, now it can do international flights. Yeah, somebody did point this out. That's why the stand's not working. Uh, hang on. What, what do you want? Connect stand. I mean, what's, what's wrong? Oh, we hadn't connected that. Right, okay. Are these connected? No. There we go. Yeah, all is looking splendid. Right, now the international stands might actually work. I mean, this is good. But at the same time, you know, it would be nice if... Uh, yeah. Uh, right, okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, where are our... Right, so we've not got any two flights coming in. No two flights coming in. None. None. Not. Oh, this is... Oh, no, hang on. They put one there instead. Damn it. I'd, I'd just like to move you, please. Oh, it's an annoyance, isn't it? But hopefully, now that that can accept international traffic, um, yeah, hopefully they should start to... It could take a few weeks in the old flight planner. We've got another two we plane there. 
Where's that? Cardiff to Yorkshire. Ooh, Cardiff. That, uh, that well-known holiday destination. Well, do you know what? I think that this has really, really improved things. I really do. Um, we've got a load of seating. I think we could also do with... Hang on. Security desks. They fit perfectly there, don't they? More screens. Not that anyone will use the sodding things, but uh, yeah, more screens are good. And less people will get lost, apparently, if you have the screens. You know, they're, they're all just looking at the screens, look. They're, they're just taking it all in. And, now that we've actually got somewhere for everyone to sit, less people are... Uh, oh, hang on. Wow, we're flooding the check-in there. Could do with more large bays, couldn't we? Now, there's a there's a way, there's a thing we can do here. You'll like this. We can actually make templates. Possibly. Oh, hang on. Terminal. Ah, that's how we make extra terminals. Right, okay, with that button there. Uh, where are we now? Templates. Yeah, there is a way that we can make templates. Edit patrol, not that way. Not that way. Build tools. Save template. Right. So if we drag from here to here, large stand. I mean, we, we don't really need. There we go. Save. So now, if we want to build again, hang on, what else can we do? We can... Uh, Mm. So if we go into templates, large stand, we can actually build that. Yeah, like that. Isn't that cool? Possibly. Yeah, that's ace. I think. So we can actually just build a new stand. I think. Yeah, it just copies everything. What could be better? Right, okay. Well, let's do that then. Uh, hang on, how do we... Right, so that's there. What do you actually need to be? Uh, so you're 32, so you need to be 16 long. I can do that. Build it upstairs. That's all we need. Come on, men. Get to work. We'll demolish this, because we need these walls to be demolished. We need this wall to be built on. Yeah, there was a lot of annoyance in uh, in the last video, because I did not kind of... Well, I knew you could do the template thing, but I didn't know you could... Like, I once did, uh, for the seating, I did a template, so you could quickly pop a lot of seating in a hurry. I could have done that here, for instance. I could have made that template, and just boom, 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 boom. And uh, I didn't really realise that you could do it for all of this. So if we go on templates now, we should be able to pop that there. Like that. Oh my lord. Right, what's happened? I think it's done it. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of building that's going to go on there. With double thickness walls. Oh, no, we're not. The, the walls aren't double thickness. It's fine. It made a funny noise, didn't it, when uh, when we built that? Right, so we need... It's obviously not taken into account the, uh, the escalators and things. So if we build an escalator... Hang on, where do we want it? We want it to go that way around. And we want it in here to finish there. Right, so we need to put that there. Yeah. And then we need this way around as well to finish there. So you need to go there. And then we need lifts, of course. Let's uh, let's not forget the lifts. That's looking ace. Although now that we've done all this, I've realised I haven't actually got enough money for a large stand. This is closed, right? Okay, we'd better open the bathrooms if we're having planes on here. Oh my lord! Oh, there's a lot of people waiting for this flight. Heck! Are they all going for it? Surely not. 
What's it looking down at passport control? What's it looking like? Oh, hang on. Yeah, everything. We're coping well. A lot of things in the shop. I wonder if the shop's meeting its target. Yeah, that is good. Passport, uh, not passport control. Security is coping. Brilliant. Oh, do you know what? I think we've got a really successful airport here. They're all whizzing upstairs. Yeah, oh no, they're whizzing downstairs. Oh my lord, look, they're all off. They're checking in. They're not checking in. They've been told to sit down again. I reckon they're all going to leap up at the same time, you know. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're all going. I mean, we get £22 a time. How many people are flying on this thing? 175 passengers. Wow. Refueling is happening. ULD. What's ULD? Who knows? Ultra lightweight Dalmatians. Maybe. There's three of them to go on. Oh, it's the baggage. It's these big things. There we go. Baggage loading is complete and it's off. Hell. Flight's gone. You've missed it, guys. Oh no, he's an employee. That's fine. You, why don't you use the bathroom? He wants to use the bathroom. Go and go and use the bathroom. There's one there. That's good. Lovely. Right. Have you finished building this yet? No. Right, let's just pop downstairs and put the necessary walls in. There we go. For the lifts. And the escalator. And this needs one round here. We also need to have this as secure zones. Yeah, that's fantastically secure, as is up here. It's quite funny, I'm surprised it let me do that, because uh, it doesn't normally let the, uh, the escalators and things go across zone, does it? This, however, is not going to be a specialist stand. Anything can come on here. Uh, so we are going to get rid of the lounge on this blueprint. We don't want the lounge on there. Even though we've just built the lounge. Yeah, okay, you've just built it and now you're demolishing it all. Are you an idiot? Well, the answer is uh, no. This is pure brilliance. This is what you are witnessing here. Pure brilliance. So, on some of that stands, this could be retrofit as a shop. Yeah? You see, I've got a liking for these cheap crap shops. Ever since this one in the main terminal was doing so well. Now, we need to actually make a stand of some sort on here. Uh, large concrete runway. That's not what I want. I want a stand. There it is. I mean, you're going to cost me 400 large ones. That's fine. I thought it was more than that, to be honest with you. Taxiway path. We need more large aircraft. We want the throughput of the large aircraft to be higher. Right, yeah, there's not going to be a door there. There is going to be a door up here. We don't need a door up here. I think it puts it in manually, doesn't it? But we do need them to actually build the damn thing first. I mean, look, we could actually get another three on here quite comfortably. And your landing fees are ace, then, aren't they? Oh, hang on, why have we got... Oh, there to go down to the... the that's passport control, right? Okay, we can cope with that. That is fine. The real test is going to be, because we're quite happy with one aircraft at a time. Oh, that's an A330. Ah, lovely. Is there another one coming in? Right, hang on. You need to go on there. Brilliant. We'll upgrade you, because I want a jetway. There we go. We've got a jet bridge. We need uh, some desks. That'll do. Self-boarding gate. Uh, how did we do them now at the other place? There we go. We did it like that. Ace. Now, if you could just build that at your earliest convenience, 
We've got um, a boarding desk. We've got... Oh, we've not got a baggage bay. Right, we'll connect the baggage bay, which is in there. Okay, yeah. Boarding desk, not coming. Security checkpoint. Well, we'll be able to do that eventually. We don't have to actually connect the security checkpoint, do we? That will just connect itself. Oh, it's already connected the stand. Right, okay. We're all good. Now you are just going to be miscellaneous. Which could be good if we signed another contract with another airline. Uh, yeah. Operations. No. Economy. Contracts. Yeah, we've got, we've got two Fly Nordic. Okay, we already have that. Jet 2, you don't operate any large aircraft. Air Lingus. That's just regional. Okay. Uh, first choice, I'd like that, but it's a bit heritage, isn't it? Tap, Air Berlin. I don't know what I want. We've not got, like, where's British Airways? Air Lingus UK. Okay, that's going to have A330s. Yep, yeah, we'll sign Air Lingus. Fly maybe. Uh, maybe not. XL. Wow, 767s. I mean, that would be good. Austrian KLM. Louder. They only have A320s. I've realised we need like we need companies like Etihad. We need com you know we need big companies, don't we? Oh, hang on. We've left an individual chair in the shopping area. Yeah, Tui, you you could. It's a shame you can't just quickly move them across onto another stand, isn't it? All right, can we have some more janitors? I don't reckon we're going to uh, actually get the staff that we need. I think we'll always be short staff because I'm expanding quicker than I'm hiring staff. There we go. Massively trained. It's fantastic. And because this is a miscellaneous stand, uh, everything's going to be grey. Oops, I've painted the escalators grey. It, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Suitably boring colour, isn't it? Grey check-in desk. Everything's just very neutral. Very neutral, indeed. Now, I want to shop. I oh, know, do you know what? Food room. That is ideal. Secure zone international zone so instead so you can still get somewhere to eat that's good but because it's not a, a proper full-on you know it's a food room sign contract what do we need uh la french so we need display fridges six of them that's all we need right okay well we're gonna aim to go for la french because it's three stars i think that's a decent amount hang on restaurants and cafes Display fridge. Right, we need six of the flipping things. Four, five, six. We'll put seven in. They can be across the top. Now, that's the tills. Brilliant. Perhaps that's a little bit OTT, but it's fine. I mean, you've got cooking stations and things, but I don't think we need that in here, do we? Let's have some chairs. This is why I don't like doing food rooms, because... Uh, we'll have... We'll have square. Because it just takes ages, doesn't it? We'll have everything square in La French. We could actually... Hang on, hang on. Building tools. Toggle planning mode. No, that's not what I wanted. Save template. Square, table, and chairs for the restaurant. Yeah. So now we can just pop that. Ah, you see, this is why I didn't like doing restaurants. But actually, now it's surprisingly easy.
Pop you down there. Oh, look at that. Now, we'll leave this nice and open. Brilliant. Oh, we've got a two-y going. Oh, wow, something's actually coming on here. Wow! Oh, it's, vir it's Virgin, for crying out loud. Oh, they're gutted. They're not getting, like, the full experience. And they're in the lounge. They're going to have to leg it across, aren't they, at the last minute. Is someone coming to open up La French, please? There we go. What are these? Has someone actually built these chairs yet? They look like they're not built. Are we going to have some contractors to build them, please? I guess the contractors do have to go quite a long way, don't they, to get here now. Hey, dear me, I don't know. Well, I think we've made absolutely fantastic progress. There's two Virgin Atlantics in. I wonder how passport control's coping slash not coping. It's coping well. Security's coping well. Everything is coping well. This is what we love. Well, there we go. Thank you so much for watching today. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. This is getting absolutely nuts, isn't it? I mean, we're going to have a screenshot there. That is a great screenshot of the two aircraft together. If you have enjoyed the video, please do show your appreciation by slinging a like at the video. And of course, if you're enjoying this series, make sure you subscribe because, I mean, hell, there's all this space to cover yet. So I imagine that this series is going to go on for quite some time. Other than that, as I say, hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.